President Nani Kufadu says funding the free senior high school program with part of the country's oil revenue is appropriate. Speaking at the Oxford 2018 Africa Conference in London, President Ekufadu said one of the most equitable and transparent uses of the oil revenue is funding the free SHS program, which guarantees every child of school going age a free access to secondary school education. The Oxford Africa Conference is a leading interdisciplinary conference on Africa by students of Oxford University. The conference assembles heads of state, policy makers, business leaders, academics, artists, students and professionals to critically expand the discourse on Africa. For close to a decade, the conference has provided a vibrant platform for forward-thinking ideas about a global Africa across all disciplines, politics, society, business, technology and academia, connecting intergenerational leaders from around the world to shape an integrated and innovative perspective on Africa's future. The 2018 edition aimed to examine the current social, political and economic landscape in Africa and provoke more pragmatic ways through which African countries can reposition themselves in relation to these dimensions. President Ekufado, who delivered the keynote address, said the implementation of the free SHS policy being funded by the country's oil revenue has increased school enrollment to close to about 100,000. We're using some of the income from our oil revenue to fund the program. I believe strongly that this is the most equitable and transparent use of the oil revenue instead of it finding its way into the pockets of politicians or bureaucrats. We're investing in our future scientists, engineers, modern farmers, innovators, entrepreneurs, and transformation agents. We're shifting our emphasis in education to ensure that science, technology, engineering, and mathematics drive all sectors of the economy. On trade, President Akufuado said the ratification of the Continental Free Trade Area Agreement by Parliament would mark the end of an era of low volumes of intracontinental trade. Up till now, trade between African regions has remained low compared to other parts of the world. In the year 2000, intra-regional trade accounted for 10% of Africa's total trade and increased marginally to 11% in 2015. Trading amongst members of the European Union, for example, amounted to 70% in 2015. With Africa's population set to increase from 1.2 billion to 2 billion in 20 years' time, an increase in regional trade in Africa is the surest way to develop fruitful relations between our respective countries. This market will present immense opportunities to bring wealth and prosperity to the African people with hard work, ingenuity, innovation and enterprise. The key resolutions of the Oxford Africa Conference will be collated and passed on to key decision makers such as the African Union, the regional blocs such as the Southern African Development Community, SADC, Economic Community of West African State, ECOWAS, and East African Community, EAC.